Hello and welcome to Good News That Actually Is, where three to five sets you free to thrive. Three to five minute encouragements to help your joy by empowering your soul. I am your host, Tim Ashley. Welcome to this new day that brings with it new opportunities. It's Tuesday, and I'm glad to have this time with you to encourage your joy. I know it isn't Christmas time, but I need to bring to our attention something that I feel is very important and encouraging to think about. In Luke 1.28, it says, And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. <laughs> Blessed are you among women. Speaking to Mary, the mother of Jesus, of course. Now, that verse seems okay until you unpack the context Mary was living in. She was a young Jewish girl living in Nazareth under very difficult circumstances and being oppressed by the Roman government at the time. In most cases, many would argue she was anything but blessed and highly favored when you looked at the conditions in which she had to live her life. So... What if, what if she had compared herself with others she knew that lived at a much higher level of comfort and prosperity than she did and determined her perspective would be shaped by those comparisons? See, thankfully, Mary chose to believe the angel despite the hardships she was under, and she accepted the invitation to become the mother of Jesus. The measure of our happiness is not to be determined by the things we possess or the level of living we can accrue in this life. It is best if it is determined by the blessing of life we've received in Christ Jesus. See, that's the foundation of all lasting joy. So I encourage you today to never allow your perspective to be colored by your surroundings or circumstances. Such things are never permanent anyway. Let your perspective perspective be determined by his love for you today and always go and have a richly blessed day because you too are now favored and blessed in Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in today. Never forget that you are loved by a faithful God whose obedient son Jesus Christ willingly died on a cross so that you can live today and always from the abundance of his life in you. Please subscribe and share this with others so that they too can experience the three to five that sets you free to thrive. And be sure to tune in next time to Good News That Actually Is. Please visit us at our website, goodnewsthatactuallyis.com. There you'll find transcripts of the program, video files, and other opportunities. We look forward to visiting with you there and ask you to subscribe. Have a great day.